Well, that's good, everybody. Today, I'm showing you how I took my book cover from meh to marvelous, okay? And I was using original art pieces. So as with anything, the first thing you want to do is plan. Ask yourself, what is your book about, okay? Because at first glance, your cover should be attractive, but also give people an idea of what they're about to get into. So I started off by, you know, just making some notes, this is my story, my journey thus far, the good, the bad, the ugly, the stupid, so on and so forth. So not only am I encouraging myself to knock down my emotional walls, but I'm encouraging other people to knock down their walls as well. So I made a few notes, but at the end of the day, I decided to go with that whole destroying the brick wall thing. Okay, and I'll show you that in just a second. So now that you've got the concept down, you need some visuals, right? And when you're trying to be original, you got to use what you got. So I happen to have a painting that had bricks in it, so I use that. And then when you're knocking down brick walls and you're doing emotional stuff, you get hurt, right? And when you're hurt, you need some band-aids. So why not paint some band-aids, huh? Huh? So that's what I did. So once I had my whole little arts and craft moment, I decided to just go with the band-aid with the fake blood on it because the other one looked like potato skin and I don't have time to explain that it's a band-aid, okay? So I played around with placement but then decided to just take individual pictures and crop out the rest of the stuff. It looked better that way. So once you get it the way you feel like you want it, submit it to your publishing company. A lot of times they'll say, make sure you don't initially have your images on the edges because you have to leave room for bleeding. But once they have approved it, they will send you a proof. This is what my proof looks like. You can clearly see that gray stripe on there, a strip, whatever you want to call it. They want to make sure you don't resell that. But yeah, this is how I took my book cover from meh to marvelous. And if I can do it, you can too. So shout out to all the authors. If, if you do have a book, make sure you leave that in the comment section so we can support each other. Peace.